Hey guys, I want to take a second and show you how to make these jack o' lanterns. They're pretty simple and fun to make. So I'm making mine out of about 3 8 inch plywood just because I'm making a bunch of them. So it's a little bit cheaper. If you're going to be making just a few, go ahead and just grab yourself like a cedar fence picket for a couple bucks. That's going to work just fine as well also. So uh, first, because I'm making mine out of plywood, I'm going to have to rip it down. So let's start ripping. Okay guys, we got our pieces all ripped up. Uh, so basically what we need and what we should be ending up with, we're gonna need one piece that's gonna be five and a half by eight, like this right here, and that's gonna be your face of the jack-o'-lantern. Then we got two pieces right here that are gonna be five and one eighth by eight. And like I said, you need two of those. Those are gonna be your sides for the jack-o'-lantern. And then uh, we're gonna need one piece that's gonna be four and three quarters by six. And this is gonna be your back. Uh, for your jack-o'-lantern. So that's gonna complete your box, okay? Then besides, after that point, we're gonna need two pieces that are just gonna be a straight screw, seven by seven. One's gonna be the base, and the other's gonna be part of the hat. And then the last piece we need is just gonna be this uh, four by four piece that will get put on the top like that. Uh, that's gonna create the hat. So let's get started assembling everything. Uh, first thing that we're gonna get started on is gonna be this face okay so what I do when I start cutting this out uh, I just draw it on real quick and it works out well a couple of tips I would give you one thing I do because the back is six inches uh, not eight you're gonna have that offset in the back here that's so you can slide the candle in uh, when it's all done now because of that I'm gonna measure up uh, two inches so we don't see that and it gives us a spot where the candle to be so it's less visible. So I'll make my, a line roughly, you can do it visually or just you can draw a line, but two inches up and then make, one thing I'll make sure I do, I'll put a line on both sides that are gonna be three eighths on the side because when we go to put this on, the sides are gonna go on the back and that way when you draw your face, you don't want that so it reveals any part of your side. So it just is gonna give you a better end product and a cleaner look. So uh, now when I did my face, I just drew it out uh, by hand, like I said, and then I cut mine out uh, with my router. I just used a 1 8 inch uh, straight bit and I used that. A jigsaw works just fine too. I just did that because that's what I wanted to do. So, uh, so let's get started cutting this out.
Okay, so we got a piece cut out here. Uh, pretty clean, you can see what's left. So what I'll do at this point real quick, I'll just take my sander real quick and just roughly go the front and the back and it'll just kind of help take off all the um, pencil marks if you use those uh, and just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. So let's get sanded. <laughs> So now what we can do uh, is basically we can start assembling everything. So first thing we need to get um, our glue. Uh, and what I'll do is I like to actually pull my glue a little bit um, on a scrap piece of cardboard. And then I'll show you kind of how to get started. And I'll, after we glue, um, I'll use my brad nail to put in the corners just to kind of help strengthen and hold things together as the glue dries, okay? Then I'll just take my brush, uh, my glue brush, and just kind of smear it around like this. So you get a good length. And now after you have that ready to go, so I'll take my side piece that I'm gonna use and I'll just put it on, glue it, and then And then we'll just start fitting things up. And then we'll just start putting bread nails in. So just like so, now we'll start just going through. And once again, with the next side, same thing. Okay, so there's a back fill. So now we're gonna take our back piece right here and we're actually gonna put it on both sides because this is actually gonna fit in the middle of the sides. And one thing I would do as I put this together, I'll put it upside down so it will be flush to the top. Okay, so we'll just get that where we want it. And then we'll put in our nails. And then now I'm just gonna wipe off the excess glue that I have around the edges. And that's all there is to it. So we got our box basically made now. And that's it. So pretty simple. Now we got to assemble the hat. Now one thing I did, I did put an X on the top. That way it marks my center. Uh, so because I do put an eyelid up top here, 
and that way I know where to drill my hole so I can screw my eyelet down onto, okay? So, uh, what I'll do with that, I'll just take a, this is all eyeballing, it's just not precise by any means. I'll just kind of put, rub my brush and put some glue right there in the middle. And kind of eyeball it where I want it. And we'll go. Okay, so now that's done. So now we have all of our pieces ready to go. All right, so now uh, the biggest decision we have is to paint them. If we want to paint them, uh, or if you want to leave them natural, um, I've seen people even burn them, take a torch and burn them. Uh, and that's, a lot of this is going to become a personal preference. Now one thing, um, oh, before I paint, I will go through and um, I'll drill my hole and put my eyelid on. So we have the option to tie stuff to, as you can see here, or even hang them if we decide to do that. So let's drill my hole. And once again, I mean, it doesn't have to be super precise, just eyeball it and that's gonna be good enough for what we're doing here, okay? And then, there we go and that's it. Now, uh, the way I paint mine, so at this point I would take my base and my top and the uh, body of the jack o lantern and I will paint everything black. Uh, just I'll just take some cheap spray paint, just paint it all black, uh, and that way it'll give the top and the bottom, that those are done painted, and that's good to go at that point. Um, as well as now with the body, what I will do is, before I get ahead of myself, before I paint the body, I will just run over and give me a quick sand. Uh, over everything just to kind of soften down the edges. Just so we're not touching our fingers on anything. So now we got that softened out. So now it's all ready for paint. We'll do the same thing with the tops too. Just kind of round off the corners and make them not so sharp, just so it's easier to handle. Uh, so paint everything black. That's what I do. At that point, the base and the hat is done. Now what I'll do, I'll take uh, whatever color I choose. Like I painted this one like a pumpkin orange, and then I'll paint that over the black and then I'll go through and sand it so that way when it starts seeing the distressing mark marks, uh, the black will show through a little bit instead of the natural wood. That's just what I do with mine. Uh, once again, this is all gonna be personal preference by this point. And so that's gonna be 100% up to you. But this is what it looks like. And then on the back here, you're gonna be able to see right here, you can uh, slide your tea candle in One of these little guys here, I'll just slide that right in and you're good to go. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to me and happy building.